Alright, welcome back to Performance Pyramid and Bodyweight Badass. This is Brad Kazmarski. And we've gone over some theory, now it's time to get into the application of this. So, we're going to start on our foundation and our active straight leg raise. Our first pattern in the FMS is going to be our active straight leg raise. And the first thing we're going to work through is some trigger points. So, if you've done the active straight leg raise and you have a 1, you're going to go into more static stretching and trigger point work. If you have a 2 or up, obviously a 3 is fine. If you have a 2, you're going to work on some of the motor control and go right to this. If you don't, have a two and you have a one, we're going to work on some trigger points, some length, and some tension. So the first thing we're going to do trigger points, we're going to work our way up. We're going to start with the feet. So you have a lot of tools here. This is a melt ball that is perfect for getting in the feet. You can get in all the specific spots. If you don't have a melt ball, obviously the tennis ball is always go-to. So always start with the tennis ball, roll your feet throughout, hit the arches all the way up and down. You can use this obviously which comes with the trigger point kit this is a little bit softer right here obviously and then the cross ball is harder so we have a lot of different um, depth or thickness levels most specific most broad you know we're getting in, in most um, dense so we're going to work different spots on the foot we're going to try to work on the inner arch a little bit more up through the center of the foot and kind of all the way down you spend, I would say, about two minutes on this and just test your active straight leg raise, see if it changes. Once you've worked on the foot with any of the stuff you need for about two minutes, we're going to work our way up the calf. So a foam roll is obviously the most standard for this. So you're going to work your calf two different ways. You can stack your leg and you can roll your calf up and down, rolling your calf, and you can also shift side to side. So I would roll some, and then I would shift side to side. Start broad with the foam roller, go about 15 up and downs, 10 side to side. If you feel one specific spot that's the worst, then you can jump into your specific work. So then you might find a, sp uh, a spot that's the worst for you, and then you can hit on that, and then you can hit pull, point, pull for another 10 reps on the spot that's the worst. We're going to work our way up the chain then into more of the hamstring. Again with the foam roll, we're going to get in and up high in just different spots. Again, broad all the way up and down. Then if you find any specific spots, sit on a chair, stick that up there, and then do an active straight leg raise on it. So sit on the chair so your foot is down at 90 degrees. Find the spot that's the worst. Actively flex the quad, lift up, go back down 10 times. That's the main tissue work we're going to work on for the bottom category of trigger points. Then we're going to go down next into some of the active straight leg raise pattern from the 4x4, uh, four four, which is starting with the first phase laying on the ground. 